Hey everybody, it's Tuna and thanks for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the button down below and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you for supporting me. It is time for another Mask Monday. And today I'm going to be trying the Garnier Moisture Balm. I got this in a swap with someone and I've heard lots of good things about this. This is a super hydrating sheet mask with hyaluronic acid and pomegranate extract. So it's supposed to deliver 24 hour long lasting hydration and it helps prevent moisture loss throughout the day. It also has 32 milliliters in this tiny little packet, which is a lot. So I'm afraid it's gonna drip into my eyes. But uh, the Beauty News did one of their makeup breakup on this and they squeezed out all of the liquid inside this and it did actually have 32 milliliters, which is pretty cool. So, I already washed my face with Glam Glow, and you leave this on for 15 minutes. It says, this water-based sheet mask with hyaluronic acid, an ingredient naturally found in skin, floods skin with intense weightless hydration, free of mineral oil and petrolatum. This non-greasy formula with pomegranate extract provides a soothing burst of hydration for a fresher, softer, more radiant look. And it is fall now, tomorrow is Halloween, the weather is not nice and not nice on your skin. I've got some dry patches around my nose, other than like I am generally oily all over the rest of my face, but I do get dry around here. So let's open it. Pretty easy to open there. How does it smell? Ooh, it smells good. Ugh. The one thing that I dislike about sheet masks is when they like drip. And this is kind of kind of drippy. So let's put this on. I mean, if you didn't have a costume, you could always wear this and go as like Leatherface. Okay. So I will see y'all in 15 minutes. Is there any way to look cute in a sheet mask? Is there like. <laughs> So cute. See you in 15 minutes. And I'm back. And as you can see, I kind of pulled this part off. It was burning my upper lip. I'm gonna take the rest off now. It's like a weird burning and cold sensation at the same time. And then when you take it off, you just pat in the product that's left over. There's a lot on my face still. You can see how shiny, I know there's still a lot. I don't know how long that's gonna take to soak in because generally like you can pat when you're done and then it starts to soak in, but there's a lot because it's a moisture bomb, right? So, maybe I'll do a check-in later, not entirely sure, but um, I don't know if I would use this again just because of the burning on my upper lip it felt fine on the rest of my face so it's got a slight burn now I don't know if that's the hyaluronic acid yes it naturally occurs in skin but it's different when it's on a mask on your face um I'm excited because I have an idea for makeup today I haven't worn makeup in a few days I kind of been t I usually take a break on weekends so I was thinking about what I was going to do last night You'll see if you follow me on Instagram. Um, I have something fun planned for today, if I can make it work. Yeah, so if you don't have sensitive skin, it'll probably be great. 
Um, I can feel it kind of starting to soak in now, but it does feel a little tacky. Let's hope it provides me with the full day moisture that it says it's going to. Um, I can just cover the red, the extra redness of my rosacea with some BB cream, I guess. <laughs> And I don't know, I kind of, it feels different in here. This is where I had most of the dryness and I can feel that it has put some moisture in there. You can feel the moisture in your face even though now it is, yeah, tacky. Can you hear that? Okay, so a little check in here. Um, it's probably only been like half an hour, if that. And my face feels tight which is like weird since I thought it was supposed to be a moisture bomb, but I'm feeling like tightness in here and kind of on my forehead and stuff, like tightening the skin. So that's interesting. I don't have any burning or anything anymore. I just kind of wanted to do a little check-in just because is that normal? Have you tried the moisture bomb? Like, did that happen to you? Um, yeah. So... I'm gonna go put my makeup on over top and hopefully my face is good for the rest of the day. So that's a, it for today's video. If you don't have sensitive skin, then definitely try it out. Um, I'm sure it's great for moisture because there is 32 milliliters of product inside that tiny little pouch. Um, Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the button down below and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload future videos. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, and I will leave all of that info in the box down below. I know this video was like super, super short today, but I'm not sure what else I can say. I don't wanna slam this mask because I'm sure it works great for some people. It just doesn't work great for me. Maybe one day I will find my perfect mask. Um, I might order some more from Shop Masse because I did use a bunch of masks from Shop Masse and I didn't have any reactions from them. I just found that if there's too many things like hyaluronic acid or whatever, like vitamin C, my skin is not happy about it. But that's all for today. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.